Hello and welcome to today's class on likely questions on solubility. Let's go! Okay, now before we go into solubility, there are two major formulas we use in solving solubility. So, number one is that you may be asked to calculate solubility in gram per dm cube. So, when you are calculating solubility in gram per dm cube, the formula is going to be mass of solute over mass of solvent times 100 gram. Then, if the question says calculate the solubility in mole per dm cube, then you are going to use the second formula, which is mass of solute over molar mass of solvents times what? Times 1000 over volume. Are we together? All right. So, having known this, you have to check out the parameters that you were given before you commence to solve. Now, let's look at the first question. 9.8 gram of potassium triosochlorate 5 we are added to dissolve all the solid as the solution could crystals of potassium triosochlorate 5 started forming at 66 degrees celsius the solubility of potassium triosochlorate 5 at 66 degrees celsius in mole per dm cube is what now the first thing you are going to do is write out the parameters given to you so this is this is mass in gram uh-huh or mass of the solute okay uh-huh so this is mass of the solute we've written that down what again the temperature is at 66 degrees celsius and what again we as to calculate the solubility of potassium triazochlorate 5 in mole per dm cube now in mole per dm cube once you hear mole per dm cube which formula comes to your mind mass over mass of solute over molar mass times 1000 over volume the question says calculate in mole per dm cube all right so using that formula mass of solute over molar mass what will it be we've given we've been given the mass of the solute let's calculate the molar mass what is the molar mass of this the molar mass of potassium triazochlorate 5 what would that be so you have that Let's calculate it here. KNOC3. So this would be potassium is what? 39 plus molar mass of chlorine 35.5 plus uh -huh, this 3 is affecting oxygen only. So plus 3 times 16. So let's press our calculator. So you have that 39 plus 35.5 plus 48. This times this will give you 48. So you have it to be 122.5. 122.5. So using the formula mole per dm cube, this will be mass of the solute is what? 9.8 over 122.5. That's the molar mass. Times what? Times 1000 over volume. What is the volume here? The volume given to us here is 40 cm cube. 40. Is that understood? So you do your calculation. This times this will give us 90 uh -huh, over 122. 122.5 times 40. That will give us 4900. So we divide. 9800 divided by 4900. And that is going to give us what? 2. So our answer is what? 2, 2, 2 mole per dm cube. 2.0 mole per dm cube. So the correct answer to this question is this, D. Answer. Isn't that simple? Let's look at another question. Okay, so let's look at the second question. Can you try this question? The question is in mole per dm cube. Now they didn't ask you to calculate mole per dm cube. But may looking at the answers, you can see that you are asked to calculate in what? Mole per dm cube. Now pause the video and try this question. All right. Welcome back. Let's do the question. Okay. So once you hear mole per dm cube, what comes to your mind? The second formula. Mass of solute over molar mass of solvent times 1000 over times 1000 over volume. So without wasting our time, let's find the mass of solute. Mass of solute is what? The mass of the solute is 1.95 95 gram 
Then we're going to find the molar mass of sodium chloride. Molar mass of sodium chloride. From what we have here, sodium is what? 23 plus 35.5. And that will give us what? Let me bring my calculator and let's solve. 23 plus 35.5. And that will give us 58.5. 58.5. That is the molar mass. 58.5 gram per mole. So using the formula we had here, mass of the solute from the question is what? 1.95. 1.95 over molar mass is what? 58.5 times what? 1,000 over volume. What is the volume here? The volume here is what? Looking at the question, what is the volume? The volume is what? 5 cm cube. 5 cm cube of solution. So the volume is 5 cm cube. Remember? The volume is 5 cm cube. So from here we have that 19500. I hope I'm right. Let me calculate 1.95 times 1000. That will give us 1905 all over 58.5 times 5. That will give us 292.5. So you have that 1950 divided by 292.5. And that will give us what? 6.6666. Okay? So, from the options we have here, 5 mole per dm cube, 5.67, 6.00, 6.67. So, this is approximately 6.67 mole per dm cube. So, the answer to the question is D. Isn't that simple? Let's look at another question. Okay, can you try this question? Very simple. 2.5 gram of copper two tetragonal surfaces is dissolved in 100 gram of water at this temperature. Calculate its solubility in more per dm cube. Once you hear more per dm cube, what comes to your mind? The second formula. So let's solve. Now, the mass is what? 2.5 gram, right? Okay, then what else? We are going to find our molar mass. Molar mass of copper two tetrazo surfaces. So this would be copper would be what? From what we are giving here, copper is 64 plus sulfur is 32 plus 4. This 4 is for oxygen. 4 times oxygen is what? 16. Where is my calculator? So let's solve. 64 plus 32 plus 64. That will give us what? 160. So for the molar mass, we have 160. So using the formula, the mass of the solvent is 2.5 from here. Molar mass is what? 160 times 1,000 over volume. Now, what is the volume here? As you can see, this water was dissolved. As you can see, this copper to total surface is, is dissolved in 100 gram of water. Now, they didn't give it to you in CM cube. They gave it to you in what? Gram. But despite that, as long as you hear more per DM cube, you are going to be using this as what? CM cube. Because this is what? Volume. The volume of what I use is what? 100 gram. But you are going to use it as what? CM cube. Is that okay? All right. So divided by 100. So you have that 2500 all over... 16000. So let's solve 2500 divided by 16000. So you have it to be what? 0 0.15625. So let's look at the options given. The options given are what? 0 0.0, 0 0.0, no, 1.5, no, 0 0.15, yes. 0 0.15 so this would be 0 0.15600 what more per dm cube answer please remember that even though this is in gram this is also taken as what volume measured in water this is volume please take note of that is that okay let's look at another question let's look at this question what mass of this is required to prepare this of this solution? Very interesting question. So here now you are asked to find the mass. 
okay so to prepare this of this solution so what is this now 0 0.020 mole per dm cube solution that means this is the solubility are we following this is the solubility now let's write out our parameters from what we're giving here we're asked to find the mass so we're looking for the mass of the solvent all right we have been given the molar mass the molar mass will be 194.2 what again you are giving the volume the volume to be what 250 cm cube and you are giving the solubility to be 0 0.020 mole per dm cube are we together so this is the solubility is a mole per dm cube you are asked to find the mass once you hear mole per dm cube what comes to your mind the second formula all right now in this case you are giving this you are giving you have your 1000 you are giving volume and you are giving mole per dm cube so you're looking for mass so just do your substitution formula so molar uh, mole per dm cube is what 0 0.020 is equal to you are looking for mass in gram over molar mass is 194.2 times 1000 all over volume what is the volume here 250 cm3 so do your normal mass 0 0.020 is equal to 1000 m over let's calculate my calculator so pressing my calculator i have that 194.2 times 250 that will give us what 48,550. All right. So the next thing to do is to do what? Cross multiply. Are we together? So you have that 0 0.020 times 48,550 is equal to 1,000 M. It's simpler now, right? So the next thing to do is do what? Divide both sides by the coefficient of M, which is 1,000. So cancel, cancel. Let's solve. You have that 0 0.020 times 48,550 is equal to 971 over 1,000. Please, dear students, remember what I said about trying to solve everything here. Pressing 0 0.020 times 48,550 divided by 1,000. You may get the wrong answer. Remember, I have always said it. It is good that you solve the top one, keep your answer, solve the down one, keep your answer, and then divide so that you'll be sure of your answer, so that you will not suffer in vain and fail it. Hmm? Okay, so divide by 1000, you have it to be what? 0 0.971. Okay, so we are looking for our answer here 0 0.71, 9.70, 19.42. And this so what's our answer 0 0.971 gram so this is our answer 0 0.97 gram answer isn't that simple let's look at another question all right so let's look at this question the solubility in mole per dm cube of 20 gram of this dissolved in this of water at this is what so solubility in what mole per dm cube now Remember, this is gram per dm cube. You only use this when you are asked to calculate solubility in gram per dm cube. Or, or, they didn't mention the solubility you are going to calculate, but what they gave you was simply the mass of the solute, the mass of the solvent. So that tells you that the popular questions the examiners ask a lot is this one. Is that okay? All right. Now, looking at this, so in more per dm cube, what is the mass? Mass here is what? mass of the copper to the total surface is dissolved uh-huh and what is the molecular mass of copper to the total surface is we have it to be this plus sulfur is 32 plus 16 times 4 16 times 4 so i hope you understood what i did here copper is 64 plus sulfur is 32 plus oxygen is 16 times this 4 so you have it to be what? 64 plus 32 plus 64. And that will give us 160. 160 times 1,000 over volume. Now what's the volume here? The volume of water. 100 of water. Okay. 
So what, what's the next thing to do? We are going to just simply solve out. If you want to, to divide, you can divide. I would like to divide. You still get the same answer. So cancel, 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 cancel. So you have that 20 over 20 over 16. It will still give you the same thing, okay? Whether you press the calculator straight away or you did not, it will still give you the same thing. So this is 1.25 mole per dm cube. So let's look at the answers we are giving. Mole per dm cube. Let's look at the answers given here. This is 1.25. So the answer is what? 1.25. Men, is this thing hard? Tell me in the comment section whether I simplified it or I did not simplify. Let's look at another question. All right. So let's look at some theory questions on solubility. Okay. The solubility curve shows variation of solute concentration with what? So when you're drawing a solubility curve, it shows a variation of solute concentration. Concentration versus what? Versus temperature because when you draw the curve you are showing the concentration versus the temperature at which they dissolve copper stains can best be removed by what do you use to remove copper stains is it kerosene is it turpentine is it a solution of borax and water is it ammonia solution the best way to removing copper stain is by using a solution of borax in water the solvent used to remove grease is dash. What's the answer? Put your answer in the comment section. Let's answer it. The solvent used to remove grease is dash ethanol, ammonia solution, turpentine, borax and water. Well, well, well. The solvent used to remove grease is ammonia. Ammonia solution. You can also use um kerosene to do that but you know kerosene is not an option here you're going to answer your question based on the options given to you okay an emulsion can be produced by shaking a detergent solution with what is it palm oil palm wine ethanol acid palm oil water now when you shake detergent solution with what it will give you an emulsion when you shake it with palm oil have you tried washing a plate or a bottle or a container of palm oil? When you pour water, you add your detergent and you shake it. You see that thing it forms? That is what we refer to as what? Emulsion. You can only get that kind of thing from the options given here with what? Palm oil and detergent. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's class. Please do well to give us a like as well as subscribe so that more persons will get this video. Thank you and bye.